Welcome back to the NovaCare Complex. It's time to go one on one with linebacker Nathan Gary, presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. Now, Nate, trust it can be a heavy word, right? Especially when you associate the responsibility that goes along with it. But you've got the trust of your team, and yet you still play free and loose out there. How do you make it all happen? Uh, a lot of work throughout the week. Um, you know, we put a lot of new things in the game plan. Um, but you know, I think you earn trust with. Um, being out there and go out there and do all the things with your teammates and show that your teammates that you're able to do uh, multiple things within the scheme. Um, you know, I think that's just uh, the where it comes from trust is that being able to count on your teammates. And, you know, the beginning of the year was kind of tough on us that um, and I think a lot of us weren't really trusting each other. And then um, the past, you know, six, seven games, I feel like we're uh, kind of getting back to it. Yeah, it's been tested, certainly. And, and your coach, Jim Schwartz, said, kind of liven this up a little bit. He said he has the biggest get off my lawn sign in his neighborhood, right? He's old school and we love that about him. So if we take it back to one example, uh, Sunday against the Seahawks, you're down 17 to three, just under 10 minutes to play. You make the smart play as you always do, land on the ball, you secure it. And then you guys run to the end zone. Uh, you, you've got proper documentation, right? What's your response to those that may question the juice that you shared in that moment? Um, you know, I, I, we saw, I did see a couple of tweets, you know, people were kind of harping on it, but, um, you know, I think in our position, you know, uh, when it comes to momentum in a football game, um, you know, making a, a defensive stop like that, um, you know, especially playing at home, you know, being any, any possible way to get the, the fans going a little bit to, to kind of change that momentum in the game. Um, and I think that's just, you know, that's just how our defense plays, you know, we're, um, we're we're going to play the last play no matter what, um, no matter the score. And I think that's just that's just who we are, and I think that's nothing we're going to change. And that's exactly what Coach Schwartz said. Going back to that old school mentality, he said, look, we don't want to water down that energy and that juice that you play, whether you're up or you're down. And that's kind of the consistency that you've shown, Nate. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think it does come It's a trickle-down system from Coach Schwartz. Yeah. Uh, I think our coaches do a really good job throughout the week with, um, you know, schemes and game plans and uh, putting us in the best positions against our opponents. Um, but, you know, they're, they're uh, like you said, you know, he's got a big old sign in his lawn, and you see that throughout the week, and uh, it's, it's good for a defense. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, he's a great leader for us. Yeah, you take that mentality with you. Uh, look, the Eagles defense has allowed 17 points or fewer in four straight games. That's the longest active streak in the league, tied with the Rams, uh, and the longest for the Eagles since doing so in five straight in the 2009 season. So how has the improved health of the secondary, how has that kind of rippled down throughout the throughout the unit? Um, you know, I think it's helped. Uh, you know, obviously I think, um, you know, as the year progresses, you know, being able to, uh, you know, things kind of slow down a little bit. Um, you know, I think at the beginning years, I think some of our, you know, our younger guys, uh, they did a really good job. I think that, you know, it comes back down to the trust thing at the beginning of the year. Um, we did have a lot of new pieces in there. Not, not everybody was comfortable with, um, you know, the trust word. And I think that everybody was kind of I'm trying to do a little bit too much and, you know, kind of bit us in the butt where as, you know, the past five games or whatnot, you know, everybody's just doing their role and sticking to it. Your first career touchdown, a 52-yard pick six against the Jets in week five, but who's counting? <laughs> uh, do you still have the ball? Yeah, I do. It's in, it's in my locker right now. It's in your locker? Yeah. Okay. Is at some uh, keep it safe. At some point, it will transition to your home or will you keep it there? Yeah, to I'll, see? I'll bring it home. Uh, I'll probably bring it to my house in South Dakota. Okay. So I got to... Uh, find a way to get it back there. <laughs> Carry on, for sure. Carry right, on, yeah. for sure. Uh, listen, inside training camp, you told us how this was going to be your best year yet. You certainly passed the eye test at that time because you put on, what, 20 pounds of strength in the off season. would you say? Uh, yeah, it was uh, like 15 pounds, okay. roughly around, yeah, give why, or take. Why were you so confident during training camp and telling us that you've you've prepared for this that this was going to be your breakout season uh you know i think just my mindset going into it um i think towards the end of last year things just started clicking a lot better for me uh you know i was kind of last year i was kind of getting plugged in at different roles whereas uh you know this year i kind of um, in my mind can kind of solidify a couple roles where uh you know i can kind of detail my work a little bit better um but i think it just comes down to you know i've, I've been under nigel for a couple years i've learned a lot from you know nigel um, you know, I just feel like you know, my confidence is higher than it has been the past couple of years. And like you said, you know, I think my teammates trust me a lot better. So I think that, you know, that helps me play, play loose and fast. And, um, you know, that's why I just feel like this year is going to be a good year for me. You also broke news during training camp in terms of the white snake, right? <laughs> yeah. and, and why you were <laughs> dubbed that. You had a snake in your locker and we dug deep and here we are. But share with our viewers uh, where that nickname comes from. <clears throat> uh, got it in college when I was... Um, 
think I was a sophomore. Uh, you know, I, the white part obviously comes down to my skin color. Um, I was a I was a white safety where you know you don't really see a lot of that much anymore. Um, and I, I've always been a quiet guy. You know, kind of snakes are kind of just you know uh, quiet in the grass. You don't really know where they're at. You know, last second they're kind of you know they're gonna they're gonna pounce on you and. Um, you know, one of the, someone on Twitter, uh, I could tell you his name, his name was Rob Green, just a random guy gave me this, uh, the nickname, and then uh, a bunch of my, yeah, then a bunch of my. Uh, so he does listen, guys, when you tweet at him, he listens. Oh yeah, we see All a right. lot of this, we see the good and the bad, don't worry. All right. Um, but, um, yeah, my, you know, my buddies actually brought it up, and then so they saw it, and then they started calling me Snake, and blah, 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 then for the past seven years, I've been called Snake. Yeah, everybody calls me Snake. Interesting. Now. Yeah. Okay, well, it's working for I you. I like it. Yeah, it's, I think mean, there's gonna be a lot worse nicknames out there. So <laughs> fair I'm not enough. Not about it. Uh, sticking with the social media, Instagram, you had a post and a caption: "Grow st stronger from the pain." That was your most recent photo that you posted there. Break that down. What what do you what do you mean from that? Uh, you know, we got you know we took a loss. Obviously, um, you know it hurts anytime you put all that work in throughout the week. Um, you know, we work hard from April to now. Uh, we only get 16 opportunities to to uh, go out there and showcase our abilities. So anytime you you know we took a loss last week, uh, you got to grow from, you got to learn from it. Um, you know I think that's kind of what I was just kind of going after was you know the the Monday and the Sunday, where you kind of you still got the game in the back of your head a little bit. Where um, you know it does hurt, but you know new week you got a new new opponent, the Miami Dolphins. You got to move on and we got to grow from the last week. Staying with the Thanksgiving theme here. Uh... What are you thankful for? Uh, my family okay. and my teammates. Um, you know, I'm blessed to be in this position, but I wouldn't be here without my, my mom and my dad and my family. And, um, you know, the teammates that I played along the way have really uh, kind of molded the person I am today. Awesome. Well, trust what's better than that, just to kind of go full, full circle right. for you. There you go. All right. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Best of luck on Sunday. Thank you very much. That is One on One with Nathan Gary, presented by Bob's Discount Furniture. We'll see you next time.